So I was doing research for my website here, Faith Life Money, and I watched a couple documentaries about money, poor people, and rich people. And for some reason, they decided to make a lot of movies about the difference between poor people and rich people and the wealth gap. Well, here's what I found out. I'm watching these things, applying it with the word. Really, it's not a poverty problem. It's a lack of knowledge problem. Here's what's been happening. Most people get mad at rich people. They don't like rich people. They even hate rich people because they have an abundance, because they have more, because they have multiple cars. Maybe they have multiple houses. Maybe they've got a house bigger than they need. you got to watch yourself. Don't be hating on these types of things because our God is a God of abundance. Our God is a God of more than enough. Man, he made the roads in heaven out of gold. The roads, the place you walk on, the place you drive on is out of gold. He's got mansions for everybody. And then in the Lord's Prayer, it says to pray on earth as it is in heaven. So, man, if you're hating on this kind of stuff down here on earth, you're going to be bummed when you go up to heaven and have a mansion. Because that's what's going to happen. So I want you guys to think about this. Don't be hating on rich people. Because I want you to be one of them. You should be one of them. You should want to be one of them. Man, they're doing things right. Here's the problem. You think because they're rich, you have to be poor. As though there is a limited amount of money. If this guy's got more than enough, that means he's taken from somebody else. That's what I keep seeing in these documentaries over and over again. Hey, that's not the case. God's resources, unlimited. He owns cattle on a thousand hill. The silver and gold are his. He doesn't run out of money. All right? So I want you to think about this. There is enough money for everyone to live a life of abundance. I'm not saying everyone's going to be a billionaire, but everyone can live the life of abundance if they apply God's word to it. Now, I was talking to a friend of mine. There's, there's a, a, a mega church, and they blessed their pastor with a Rolls Royce. They took up an offering themselves, didn't tell him about it, and blessed him with it after his years and years and years of hard work, opening church uh, campuses all over. The guy does work. He's a great dude. Now, this, of course, caused a riot. Everyone was so mad. The media was all over it. All that stuff you can expect. But here's the deal. People were saying, hey, why don't you take that money and give it to the poor? Why don't you take that money and send it off to Haiti or one of these countries that needs it? Why did you have to bless the pastor with it? Why can't you do both? God doesn't run out of money. You can hook your pastor up and you can bless those people in Haiti and you can feed the poor. Man, God's unlimited. I need you guys to expand your mindset so we can do some great works for Jesus here. You need to think about money in a different way. Don't hate on rich people because you need to be one yourself so you can do these types of things.